Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys enjoy this video. This video is going to be very, very important to me. I'm going to be very vulnerable. Um, probably share more with you guys than I've shared with than a lot of people with just a select few. But I really just want to let this out and, you know, maybe it'll help you guys come out or help you with how you heal or, you know, make you just think about why you do stuff and just why it's happening. So let's get into it. My battle with depression started last year on my birthday, actually, February 19th. I woke up just like I do every day and I went to the gym. But after five minutes of leaving for the gym, I got a phone call that I will never forget. My grandma was at home sick on her deathbed and, and she passed away. Right when I got here, I got here in like two or three minutes and, and I watched her take her last breath. And that really stuck with me, that really bothered me. But at the time I, I didn't know what to do, where to go. So I went back to the gym and I sat there for a straight hour. I didn't want to work out. I didn't know what to do. Like my grandma raised me from, from birth. You know, I was always with her and I've never experienced death in that way and it just it just got to me so I cried for an hour and from that point on um, I was living down south at the time I was up for for army drills for the National Guard so it's just crazy timing but after that I started just going to the gym two two three times a day just basically I wouldn't say killing myself but I was definitely doing more harm, you know, to my body than good. Like I wasn't resting, I wasn't eating properly. I went from like 175, 178 pounds to like 150. Like I just wasn't looking good. I wasn't feeling good. I wasn't motivated to do anything. And for those 57 days um, after her death, I didn't work. I didn't pay any of my bills, you know, just. I was just getting notices to pay this, pay that, late fees here and here, but I just, I didn't care. I'm gonna be honest, I just, I didn't have any motivation to do anything. I just, I honestly just felt like my life just, it just wasn't fair. It just was, you know, just something that shouldn't have happened right now. Like I just wasn't ready, but I guess, you know, you're never really ready. So in a way it, it showed me, you know, the value of life and, to love everybody because you never know when that day is coming, you know, even for you yourself. So it really, you know, affected me. And I just didn't know where to go with like my emotions or nothing like that. So I just held it in and for 57 days, like I didn't work or nothing. And the money that I did have, I didn't pay, you know, my stuff, I almost lost my car, you know, everything that I had. Um, Luckily, my grandma left me her house and it's paid off, but that's all I have. 
you know, that would have been everything that I had was just this house, whatever's in it. So the money that I did have, I just completely poured into my, my brand, Raven Revival Fitness. And that's just when it was just an idea, you know, I just, I just poured like $2,000 into it just to kickstart it. And it turned out very good, but also at the same time, it was very, very reckless. And looking back, I would not do that again, you know, ever because I was just dumb. It took me so long to get back on track. Like it took me this whole year. Um, my mom was a huge part in helping me, you know, get back financially. But besides that, I poured like another $1,500 or so in, in podcast equipment and I started a podcast. And, you know, I've never been one to talk to a camera or other people, but I don't know, just a lot of stuff affected me. And, and in a way, even though I was hurting inside and struggling, I still wanted to help other people. You know, I still wanted to work out and just be a light and motivation for, for like people and inspire them. And, and I did that, you know, but it was, it was hurting me. And I ended up going and going and going, you know, I had a lot more stuff happen, you know, family that a lot of people shouldn't have to go through. But um, I ended up going to an army drill uh, a few months ago, actually, and, and I kind of lost it. Like I blacked out and had a moment and, and I did something I shouldn't have. I blew up at my sergeant. And after that, I just cried and let it all out. I cried on his shoulders for like 20 minutes. And he honestly, I told him I wanted to get help. Like it was the first time I actually wanted to get help and reach out because I, I knew from right then I had an issue and he set me up with counseling. He called me like the next week and he said, hey, hey bud, um, I'm gonna get you six sessions. Just go get the help you need. But when I went, you know, I, I never went to mental therapy or nothing, you know, not even physical therapy. So when I went there, I kind of had like a, a negative you know, mindset about it, but also like I was wishing for the best at the same time. Basically, I just wasn't expecting anything. So when I went there, I poured everything out and it just felt so good. I was so relaxed. And, and once I let everything at, like out, I just felt like this feeling of like inner peace and calmness come over me. So I kept going and, and through going through mental therapy, I have healed tremendously. Like I can't even begin to describe how just happy I am that I got the help that I needed, you know, that I wasn't sitting here struggling, holding everything in like I did before because I thought that was just what it was, you know. Uh, my friends would hit me up, I would just deny them. I would just sit here and just soak in like my own pain. But she really helped me, my therapist really helped me realize who I am as a person. You know, I didn't really think I'd learned this much about myself at 24 years old, but I learned more about myself this you know, this year since I started therapy than anything, like I've learned how, how much of a drive I have, you know, how loving I am, just passionate. You know, I'm not one of those guys like, oh, you know, screw you and just, you know, dickheads basically. I'm, I'm just the nicest guy. I treat everybody with respect. I want to see everybody succeed. I don't judge people. I'm very open-minded. I just want to see people happy. I want to be happy because guys, this is like, this life that we have is short, you know, and compared to, you know, the earth, you know, how long it's been alive. So you only get one life and, and I wanted to enjoy mine. I want to have the most positive impact on people. And now that I'm back on track, you know, I feel very good. Right now I'm just tired because, you know, I'm still working at night and, uh, you know, chasing my dreams at the same time. But it's, it's just amazing. Like, I'm so incredibly grateful you know, for everybody that's helped me when I didn't want it, you know, everybody that checked up on me. And then, you know, my sergeant that helped me get therapy, because honestly, if I didn't get it, I don't know where I'd be right now. I'd probably still be soaking, you know, in my own pity. But um, I just started back, you know, working on my brand, you know, designing some clothes and the podcast. Um, I have four walls in here, obviously, and in the roof, but I'm taking these off and I'm gonna completely cover every wall and the roof so it's more, you know, sound resistant or whatever, soundproof. Cause I'm sure you can hear like a slight echo right now, just because like on that side, it's, it doesn't have any, I was, already took them off. So I'm very excited to start the podcast and 
and like now when I did the podcast before I wasn't very vocal and I didn't know what to do um I was just you know just trying to do something to I guess stop the voices in my head but like now I'm just I just I guess in a way I, I would say I'm at peace like with everything like I'm happy with every aspect of my life as it is currently you know my relationships with my parents have grown um you know my friends uh it's because I got the help that I needed that you know I could start enjoying life again and being that positive person that I was and like I said I'm just grateful because like it kind of makes me just want to cry because like I never thought I'd be back at this point ever like now I know that I got to keep pushing because the things that I can't control I can't let hold me back or hinder me like I got to keep pushing forward and I am but this time I've slowed it down like I'm not just killing myself working out and just jumping into this jumping into this like I'm taking that necessary time to also enjoy my life and if I do need a break or two in between the week like I just take it because I'm human and you know we just need rest sometimes there's nothing against that like obviously I'm working at night grinding during the day making videos you know working on my social media and like now that I'm certified in both personal training and as a fitness coach it just it's just keeping me busy but also I'm building up a you know a client base now and just being able to pour into somebody you know after everything that's happened to me you know and I was still pushing to be better and I've learned a lot I don't know I feel like I'm not trying to get very religious on y'all if y'all not religious you know I'm not pushing that on you guys but I truly believe God's purpose for me is bigger you know than than I even imagine right now I just feel like he wants me to just be a light for other people and just help other people and just show them you know what you can do you know if you just you just have that drive and you believe in yourself because that was one thing that was really holding me back was I was constantly down on myself no matter how hard I worked you know everybody would say dang Tyler you're killing it like you're doing good and that's one thing you know I, I it made me feel good but like it's one thing to to for other people to say it but when you start seeing it and you realize it it's just it completely changed me you know like I'm sure you guys can tell now if you watch some of the previous videos how just nervous I was and stuff but like now I just I'm just happy you know um, I just want to smile all the time because I'm not in that darkness no more you know I'm just surrounded by nothing but light you know and and now I, I do have a girlfriend now I've been keeping that private you know I won't say her name or anything but like she's been like a huge help to me um, I didn't really expect it and I wasn't trying to, you know, get in a relationship or whatever. I was kind of hesitant at first. I'm not even going to lie. But she really, I would say she really helps balance me. Like, we balance each other. Like, I was struggling with eating healthy for a while because I was just so busy. And, you know, she helps me with that. You know, she's just so open-minded. And we just had, like, these deep talks. And ever since I started therapy, I realized, like, those deep talks is just, it just, it's so meaningful. And not judging somebody for their past or not judging them for what they tell you is huge because nobody wants to come tell you anything if you're going to judge them and that's part of the reason why I didn't talk to people is because I was scared they were going to judge me that that's really it and I, I don't want to do that um, I love everybody um, I'm a kind person like I said I want to see everybody succeed you know I don't judge you for what you do I don't care what you do like whatever it is do it you know I'll support you no matter what because it's not my life, it's your life. And it's not my my job to judge you, so I never will. But I appreciate you guys listening. You know, it's, it's definitely been a long year um, for me, to say the least. Um, up and down with weight, you know, up and down with motivation, everything. And just to see where I'm at now, because I kept pushing through that pain, through that darkness. And now I'm coming out on top. You know, I'm starting to see that light, that light at the end of the tunnel. You know, I'm slowly getting to where I can go part-time at my job right now. And, you know, after that, shortly after, I want to just, you know, quit it. Um, I love being a CNA. I love my residence. But I just feel like this is my purpose. And that just gives me a drive to do better. And I pray to God all the time I did back then. I still do every day. I don't believe you should just pray when you're sound, like when you're sat and down. 
I believe you should just pray every day because I pray for thanks, how thankful I am. I pray for the people around me. It's, it just makes you just feel so connected, you know, with the higher power. And just just knowing that I'm on that right track, it just, it just gives me that feeling of relief. And like I said, I'm just thankful and I'm just excited for my future again. Like that was a, another thing I just, I didn't have, you know, a future to be excited about because I didn't see one, you know, I just, I just saw that pain and suffering. And like now life's just great. I have no complaints at all. And I'm still working hard, you know, probably harder now than before, but like now I'm, I'm enjoying it. And like, I can prioritize things and space them out. I'm not just doing 25% of this and jumping on 40% of this. Like I was doing like bouncing around. Like I've learned so much and I'm going to continue to learn. Um, also, I'm taking another class right now. Um, I'm gonna let you guys know what it is. I'm taking a bodybuilding specialist class just so I can specialize in something. But like bodybuilding is like my passion, obviously. I don't care about powerlifting as much, no, not knocking it or nothing. I just, me personally, I just like that. The mental aspect of bodybuilding, you know, working on your body, just getting bigger and looking more aesthetic because you know, the gym is one thing you can't buy. You know, you have to work no matter who you are. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys did enjoy um, my back and bicep workout. I love you guys, and I just can't wait, you know, to see the growth. And hopefully you guys could take something away from this. Uh, I honestly just try to give you the best I could without crying. Because uh, I've cried enough and it's just time for me to be happy and, you know, live that life that I desire. So chase after your dreams. Don't stay down. If you do, get up. Like, get up. Like, don't stay down. Get up. Just keep pushing. And if you do need help, don't be scared to ask for it. You know, that was another thing for me that, that I wish I would have asked for help sooner. You know, so I didn't suffer. But, you know, God's timing is better than mine. You know, I feel like everything happens for a reason. You know, I got the help that I needed and I'm still going to therapy. Like I slowed it down to, you know, two weeks. And then after that, I'll do like monthly visits, but like, it's just helped me. Like therapy was huge for me, um, the gym, it's just everything. So I hope you guys enjoy your day, you enjoy your week, and you, you enjoy the rest of your lives, you know, make the best of it. I'll see you guys.